Hello Gemini, this is Sue from Sweet Love Tarot. I'm doing a um, suggested reading this time. Um, it was for long distance relationships, and uh, but I'm also feeling um, for people that have feel an emotional distance in their relationship. So it, it can work for either um, circumstance. Now this is a uh, this deck doesn't have uh, court cards, which I thought would make it more appropriate uh, because it's more of a sort of an action reading, and you know the court cards they just sit there. So <laughs> except for the pages, at least they stand, but they're not going anywhere. Except for the knights, I guess that really doesn't apply, but at any rate. This is for Taurus, for distance in a relationship. Oh my, I have a bent corner. Um, okay, and this is for Gemini, and it's for the month of, let me do that again. For the month of July. Okay. This will represent your energy. Oh, well, actually, there'll be two separate sides, and one will be one uh, partner, and the other will be the other. So, um, it, it's become clear to me that um, you kind of have to listen to the uh, layout and decide which side is you and which side is them. So, and down the middle will be um, possibilities together and that sort of thing. Okay, so one person's energy in this relationship and the other. Okay. Okay, the other thing about this deck is it is uh, red in the upright. So what I have uh, for you is you uh, or one party. Um, I have uh, material and spiritual prosperity uh, and in, and uh, so much so that uh, there's a real fe feeling of fairness and give and take um, and uh, recognition um, and being rewarded for a job well done uh, is in their energy somehow so I don't know if this is something to do with work or someone you met at work perhaps but there's a conflict going on in one of the parties. Um, uh, a decision, uh, at, try, you needing to choose a direction, which way to go, one way or the other, and this is for some reason not really being dealt with right now. So, um, and one of you has, has actually got yourself in um, a mental trap. You, uh, there's fear and and it's all imagined um, someone th this is something you've created yourself or they've created themselves um, so it um, it's something that can be overcome if y they realize that um, there's um, there's no reason for it it's just all in your head or in their head um, they what they need to do is take time out for some soul searching um, and maybe a little bit less on the reminiscing because there's there's memories of love from long ago on this one side so someone is reminiscing a lot perhaps they've they're thinking of someone from their childhood or even possibly uh, someone in a past life. Maybe they feel you are that past life person or vice versa. Um, the reason for the uh, distance, uh, I'm getting success, triumph. Uh, how does that... Okay, and, and, okay, all right. <laughs> um, this also can be a, a truth coming to light. 
uh, and some sort of very authoritative, almost brutal sort of energy here. Um, so something's come to light, um, which has sort of created a distance between you, physically or emotionally. Perhaps it's a job that has separated you, and so what you're left to do w with one, one party is worried and worried, uh, is creating all kinds of negative scenarios in their head, and thinking about the old times, the, the good times that were. But it's, I really am getting very strongly that it's a job that's got you two separate right now. Um, okay. Um, transformation. Okay, this could be, um, this could be an ending, um, or it could be a new beginning. Uh, it is transformation, it is change. So the status quo that has, has one of you worried and all up in their head, uh, and mental conflict, so the two of you are feeling a very similar kind of energy, um, worrying about this. Taking time out to figure things out. Okay, I'm thinking about the past. So let me, I want to pull a um, crystal angel uh, oracle card because I'm not getting a, an answer. Maybe, let's try this. Oh, <laughs> bottom of the deck, heartache and loss. Um, <clears throat> that kind of bodes ill. Anyway, let me pull a, a message from Spirit. So, this, this card doesn't necessarily clarify this reading either, because this is the atmosphere of the reading, and clearly you both are feeling heartache and loss. So I get that you are physically separate right now. And a change has to occur. <sighs> Message from Spirit. Healthy communication. Okay. That's so important, especially if you are physically separate you need to stay in touch. You need to communicate often, uh, daily, if not more than once a day. <laughs> uh, you can make somebody feel very connected just by keeping in touch with them, reaching out um, just to tell them how your day is going or to um, talk to them before you drift off to sleep at night. Uh, it can make all the difference in the world. So, um, I feel hopeful for some reason. This reading feels like it's going to be okay to me. Keep the lines of communication open. Um, you'll both uh, understand each other much better because of this whole thing. Okay, uh, that's what I have for you, Gemini, this time. Uh, I'll be doing a regular love reading next, and I hope you'll join me for that as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.